welcome back or welcome if you are new to my channel. So first things first, happy November. It's officially a new month. For me, a new month is like a whole fresh start. Like forget a new year. A new month is all I need. So yes, today is Friday, November 3rd. So it's finally the weekend. I finally get to just like breathe for a second and not be stressing because this week has been, it's been crazy. This week has really been something else and it's just like, so many things happened this week, so many different emotions this week, so many things, I'm just like, but now that the week is over, it is time for the weekend, thank God. So right now it is five o'clock. Um, I got out of class around like 3.30. So I am going home for the weekend, but I am leaving tomorrow early in the morning. So tonight I really just need to get my stuff together, pack, clean up my apartment so that when I come back Sunday, it's not a mess because y'all know I always got dishes to clean and like other stuff. I just need a vacuum and just like tidy up a little bit. So yeah, and as you can see, the silk press is still holding on by a thread, y'all. I'm still holding on to the silk press because I just don't wanna go back to having to like brush my hair and put all this product and deal with it. Like, yeah, I gotta keep up with my hair when it's like this, but I pretty much just put dry shampoo on it once in a while and wrap it in the flexi rods at night. So it's definitely not as much work as having my hair natural. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I'm just dreading washing my hair, but I'm definitely gonna wash it on Sunday. I'm gonna do like a whole night reset on Sunday. So you guys will see a video of that too. But yeah, this hair, it only got like one day left. So tomorrow will be the last day. But I felt really cute today, y'all. I got on this like little, I think these are called like a jacket. I don't know. It's like a sweater jacket. And I was wearing like my New Balance sneakers, my gray Telfar very cute fall fit you guys can go on my tiktok if you want to see more about that i post more like um daily videos on there and stuff about my outfits and everything but for now i'm gonna cook dinner because i'm starving but i'm probably gonna clean up a little bit first and kind of like go back and forth between cooking and cleaning just to get everything done in a timely manner because i want to get to bed kind of early tonight i want to have time to do my skincare wrap my hair good because last night i didn't really get into my skincare too well and the hair, I wrapped it up so lazy because I was just, it was literally two o'clock in the morning when I went to sleep. So my night routine last night wasn't very thorough and that bothers me. <laughs> so I want to have time to do my night routine. So I'm going to take you guys along to cook and maybe clean with me. And then I'm going to pack my stuff for tomorrow. Maybe just a bag. I don't even think I'm going to bring a suitcase because I maybe, I might bring a small suitcase actually. <laughs> I can never use a duffel bag. So I think I'm going to pack my small suitcase for the weekend. And then I'm gonna get ready for bed and we'll head out in the morning. So let's get to it. In this mansion, I'm a collie caulk and paid it full. I'm a car fight. Know your tie. We just did dinner for three hours. Lying to me all night. Buying being expenses out of spite. Paid a hundred rent or something light. Simple price to keep them out my life. Booby trap, we need a business office. Magic City need a business office. 29, I keep a business office. I'm in love with Houston, Dallas often. Tell your guys to hold off on a team chain. Seem like they may need money for coffins. Cuban girl, a family grind coffee. Text me on the signal, don't call me. Major distribution labels call me. Bad bunny numbers, it's a robbery. 500 million just for Aubrey. Mm -hmm. Major distribution, high popping. Mention me to be the hottest topic. Same place you seen your bitches shopping. getting ready for bed as you saw I got my stuff packed up I cleaned up washed the dishes cooked dinner um, Cedric is actually here because he is driving me home this weekend because y'all know I don't like to drive so thank you to him but um, I made like these turkey rice bowls for dinner it was very good I kind of did like a little copycat recipe from the HelloFresh um, recipe that I got a while ago I was just watching Aaliyah's new vlog while I was doing my skincare and stuff I've really been into YouTube lately like I love watching TV 
But ever since I finished Ugly Betty and I watched some other shows on Netflix, I'm just like, I'm over TV right now. So I've just been watching YouTube. As you saw, I was watching YouTube Walls Cooking too. I'm pretty sure her name is Amira Ali. She goes by the name Brat Babe on TikTok as well. That's where I first found her. But then when I found out she had a YouTube channel, I was like, yeah, I need to subscribe because I like her. I'm the type of person like, I gotta like who you are as a human being before I like your content. Like I need to like you as a person before I like your YouTube videos, your TikToks and stuff. Like if I like you, then I'll like your content. But if I don't really like you like that, if I'm not like vibing with you, then if, even if your content is good, I'm not gonna vibe with it. So yeah, I've really been into her as well lately. Nosy ass. What is it? Okay. Oh, here he goes. Anyways, yeah, my main YouTubers right now are Kyra, Aaliyah, Peyton, Amira. Who else do I be watching? Chloe5050. There's a few. There's a few people that I'd be watching on YouTube and TikTok and stuff. But anyways, it is now 1030. I'm going to get going to bed so that we can get up very early. Hopefully I leave here by 6 o'clock so I can get home early in the day so that we can head out because we have some plans tomorrow to go shopping go to trader joe's which i'm very excited about um so yeah we have a few things planned for tomorrow including we're going to a comedy show um tomorrow night so a few things planned this weekend so i want to get to bed get up early and get the hell out of here because i need a break from this town so i will see y'all in the morning Good morning guys, so it is 5.48 in the morning. We're getting ready to head out, but right now I'm just making like a little drink. I'm kind of making like my own version of the new gingerbread chai drink from Starbucks. Um, so I bought this um, Tazo chai latte and then I bought the Tazo gingerbread spice because I was like, if I put them together, then it might be similar. I don't know what the one from Starbucks tastes like because I'm not buying Starbucks right now, but I made my own version and I feel like it's good, so. I'm going to put the chai first, about that much. Oh wait, that was the gingerbread. Oops, now I'm gonna put the chai. <laughs> it's very early in the morning. Um, but yeah, I got up, I did my makeup so I don't have to worry about it later. My hair is looking very cute. So yeah, we should be there by like eight. 8.30, then I'm just gonna put some of my Chobani oat milk. Oh, I forgot the goddamn syrup. Okay, I'm gonna put some of this Tarani brown sugar cinnamon syrup. Funny story, I went to Home Goods to look for this, literally dropped the bottle on the floor. Yeah, I picked the bottle up, cause these are big bottles. But yeah, these are very large bottles and it slipped out of my hand and fell on the ground and I was like there was these two ladies standing there and they were like it's okay you know that happens all the time here just let them know and I'm like that's literally never happened to me I've never like broken something in the store so it was pretty embarrassing usually I would make like the cold foam for it and all that but I am not trying to wash no dishes and it's just annoying so I'm gonna put this gingerbread whipped cream that I got from Target. I love the holiday whipped creams from Target. They are so good, especially the peppermint one. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on top and hope that I can put the lid on. I'll probably have to like mix it in a little. And then I'm gonna put some cinnamon on top. Just a little bit, maybe a lot, I don't know. And voila, it looks cuter without the lid, but I'm going to be in the car. So obviously I'm going to put the lid on. All right, so I've got my gingerbread chai. I'm going to get my purse. The rest of the stuff is in the car. So I'm about to head out and I will see y'all when I get home. Home at last, y'all. I made it home. It feels so good to be home. I love just spending time with my family and doing fun stuff. So it is almost 10 o'clock now. My mom just got back from the gym. She's gonna get ready. And then we're gonna head out and get our day started. My hair, I feel like my hair is really starting to look crazy. And the ends are pretty like poofy. So this is definitely the last full day of the silk press. I'm definitely washing it tomorrow because 
it's not looking as good as it usually does. I don't know what's wrong with it today, but I'm about to get changed. I want to put on like a cute little outfit. Um, I was just wearing this Lululemon set and this cardigan from H&M because I wanted to be comfortable. Um, so for my outfit, surprise, surprise, I'm going to wear my Aritzia jeans again. Because these are my favorite jeans right now, so why not wear them? Um, so I'm going to wear these. And I don't know if I want to wear my new Aritzia sweater or I just like came up with this new combo, right? So I found this collared long sleeve top from Target. I've been looking for a shirt like this for so long to wear with like sweater vests. I never knew how to wear sweater vests. Like I would buy them and never wear them because I didn't know how to style them. But I found this long sleeve collar top. It's like a bodysuit actually from Target. So I want to see how that fits. And then I really want to wear this sweater vest that I got from H&M. Again, this is another item I bought so long ago and never wore it. So I really want to wear this. It's very cute. It has like these little slits on the side. I also feel like it would be cute with a belt, but I don't have a belt. So I might try it on and see how it looks. And if I don't like it, then I'll wear the um, white Aritzia sweater. But I definitely want to put on something cute because why not? And then I'm actually going to change into another outfit later for the comedy show. But I'll show you guys that later. Let me try this on and we'll see how it looks and I'll make a decision. Okay, wait a minute, y'all. This is actually so cute. First of all, this is what I've been looking for. Like something I can put the collar over the sweater. Y'all, it's actually kind of cute. But I wish I had like a belt. Like, like it doesn't look bad like this. But some kind of belt would just make it look so much better look oh my god like period this is you can't tell me this ain't cute if you're saying this ain't cute you're a hater i'm sorry like but i'm also scared about this part because y'all already know i don't even need to say it this ain't gonna stay white and it's supposed to be like 57 degrees out today i think so it's gonna be a little warmer than usual and unless it's freezing cold there's a guarantee that i'm gonna sweat but for now i'm gonna change my earrings to my favorite little hoops y'all know i love these little hoops so today is pretty much like a chill shopping hangout day you know the usual the mall trader joe's chick-fil-a i wanted kava but then my mom mentioned Chick-fil-A and I'm like, you know, that actually sounds a little bit better than Kaba right now. And for today's bag, we are wearing the Gucci horse fit because this bag has been sleeping in the closet for a while. This poor bag. I don't bring it with me to my apartment because I'm not going anywhere where I'm going to like wear my cute bags and stuff. And I don't like having all like my valuable possessions there. So I keep most of them here. But I will be wearing her today because she is so freaking cute. So yes, this is the full outfit I have on my New Balance sneakers because they're like the perfect neutral shoe and they're very comfortable for walking around. And a quick little what's in my bag. I just have my YSL wallet, scrunchie, mini hairbrush, this little Frenchie um, hand lotion. I have my cleaner for my camera lens, extra battery. What else do I have in here? Girl, ain't much. Oh, also my Tasha blotting sheets because girl be greasy. And then I have my hand mirror. So yeah, let's get out and let's get this day going. Aquarius made this. Hey. Don't be 
Good morning, y'all, and happy Sunday. So it is the next day, obviously. Yesterday was such like a crazy packed day. But oh my god, yesterday was such a great day. It was so much fun. I really needed a day like that after this week. Like this week was just something else. But yesterday was so much fun. As you saw, we went to the mall, did some shopping. I was not expecting to really get anything yesterday. But I ended up going to Sephora to get a few things because um, the sale is about to end and I'm a Rouge member so I'm going to use my 20% off. And then we also went into Louis Vuitton because if y'all don't know, I am obsessed with the Vivian collections that they have at Louis Vuitton. Vivian is basically like the Louis Vuitton mascot. I don't know exactly what she is, but she's like some kind of like flower creature. I think at least I'm not 100% sure, but I'm like obsessed with the Vivian. I love like cute, unique, collectible things. So I went in there to look for some stuff to see if they had the new collection. Usually it sells out really quick and I don't find what I'm looking for. Um, but I ended up finding the passport holder that I wanted. I inserted a clip, I think, for my phone because stores like that do not allow you to record on a camera or anything. So I think I inserted that and showed you guys. But I really wanted a new passport holder just to have something really cute. Like I said, I like nice collectibles, but they didn't have the one that I wanted in store. So we ordered it online. But that's like my Christmas gift, so I'm gonna have to wait to open that on Christmas. And then I also ended up finding the matching necklace for the earrings that I have. You know, like the little hoop Vivians that I got in Aruba. I found the matching necklace and I was shook. They had so much stuff in there actually, but I really just wanted the passport cover and the freaking necklace. Oh my god, like I had to get it. So again, that's another Christmas gift, so I'll have to wait for that and I'll show you guys those when the time comes. So you just have to stay tuned till Christmas time when I show you guys what I got for Christmas. And we also stopped in the coach store to get something for my dad. I didn't get anything from there. I was just holding the bag for my mom. But the girl in there, I recognized from the last time I went when I dropped off my bag to get fixed because the strap broke. And she looked at me and I looked at her and it's like, you know when you think you know something but you don't want to look stupid? Like I had a feeling that I recognized her but I didn't want to look stupid if like it wasn't actually her. And then she, she said to me, she was like, she was like, do I know you? She was like, I feel like I recognize you from somewhere. I was like, yeah, I was here like a month ago when I dropped off my bag and you helped me or whatever. And she was like, yeah, I couldn't tell if I recognize you from a TV show or somewhere else. I'm like, a TV show? I mean, I guess my YouTube channel is like my own personal TV show, but I highly doubt that she watches my YouTube. But yeah, that was funny. And we thought we had time to get to the comedy show like early, but we ended up going to see my aunt's new house because she just moved and she had already asked me to be her maid of honor. Like we went shopping for her wedding dress and everything a while ago, but she like officially asked us yesterday and she gave us the cutest cards. Like, let me show you guys. She gave us like the cutest little cards. First one is this like cute card with the scratch on it. And then she wrote like a note inside and then put this picture of us y'all. And then also like this cute card. This is a picture from DR. And then a picture when we went to the city a while ago. I am so excited for her wedding. Oh my gosh. And she also now lives in the old town that I like grew up in. So we went to the park down the street and y'all I was just having a blast. Reminiscing all the old like childhood core memories. It was just so extremely nostalgic. It's not even funny. Oh, another thing that she gave us, she gave us like this cute heart balloon and a candle, but look at this necklace. I think she also has one of these. It's like a bubble letter. This is so freaking cute. I can't wait to wear this like, and I love gold. Gold is my color and silver is her color. So we're like, you know, we always be matching. We also have the matching permanent bracelets. So it's just perfect. But yeah, we did not have enough time to like get changed. So I was going to change into another outfit for the comedy show. We did not have time. So that outfit that you guys saw me wear yesterday, I wore to the comedy show as well. And we got there like right on time. First of all, it was so much fun. We had such a blast last night. It was hilarious. We were dying. I was crying laughing. Um, we went to see Aerie Spears at Levity Live in Nyack. So much fun. You guys have to check it out if you're in the area. Obviously, I couldn't vlog that because they don't allow you to record. And we were also like rushing. But it was a lot of fun. <laughs> but yeah, that is the recap of yesterday. Today, I have absolutely no plans. I just got back from a wax. It is 1 o'clock exactly, I think. The clock went back an hour this morning and I totally forgot 
so I got an extra hour of sleep. I really needed that, so thank God. Um, but I just got back from my wax, and I wanted to do like a little haul of what I got from Sephora. But I got like the a good chunk of the main items that I wanted, and then I also got like this little free gift. So we're gonna open this up and see what's inside after I show you what I got. So starting with the first item, I got my favorite Super Goop. Unseen sunscreen. This is literally a staple in my everyday skincare routine. And then I got my favorite lip liner, the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Sheet in Foxy Brown that I always talk about. I literally wear this like almost every day. Another staple is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I like to use this on its own or sometimes I like to use the NYX Brow Glue to like slick my brows. And then I put this on top to hold it down, but I definitely needed another one of these. Moving on to the new stuff that I got. This first one is the Topicals Brightening and Clearing Eye Mask. I don't use eye masks that much, but I just feel like my dark circles are so bad and I want to try new stuff to kind of like help it, but I don't know. So I really like Topicals, the brand in general. Like I like their faded cream, the faded serum, sorry. So I got these eye patches to try and I'm very curious. I've seen a few other influencers and creators use these. So I'm going to try these out and we'll see how they work. It says it brightens hydrates and depuffs use two to three times a week so i'll keep you updated on how these work another skincare item i've been wanting to try is this tower 28 spray it is the daily rescue facial spray i've been using the tatcha dewy spray but i feel like it just makes my skin like too moisturized i'm already greasy so i don't really need that but i heard this is good for like redness acne all that just cleaning your skin so i'm gonna test this out Add it to my daily routine maybe and see how I like it. Oh, it says use AM and PM in place of toner. Oh, okay. And as needed throughout the day. So maybe sometimes I'll swap this out with my Glow Recipe Toner and maybe spray it on my face sometimes when I don't have makeup. And we'll see. Moving on to makeup. I only got two new makeup items. The first one is this Lancome Lash Edol Mascara. I just wanted to try a new mascara. I've been using the same mascara for so long. And I'm like, I finally want to try something different. So I got this one. Next is a product I'm very excited about. I'll be honest, I was influenced by TikTok. I saw an ad on TikTok for this lip gloss. I think it's lip oil actually, but it looks like a lip gloss. I was influenced to buy this. This is the Say Glossy Bounce Hydrating Lip Oil. And I got it in the shade Bounce. When I tell you, I saw like two to three girls on TikTok using this. And I'm like, okay, it's an ad, but it actually looks good. And the packaging is so freaking cute so i'm very excited to try this i'm gonna close it back up because i want to do a haul for my tiktok as well but i am very excited to try this this sold out online and i was so happy that i found it in the store because i really wanted this shade i don't think they're all sold out online i think just this shade is sold out at sephora online but i really wanted to try this so i'm so happy that i got my hands on this and last but surely not least this is a product that I did not get my hands on last holiday season and I was so mad about it. This is the Fenty Butter Drop. But this is the freaking cinnamon bun or cinnamon roll one, I think, that Aaliyah like blew up on TikTok last year and so many people bought it. And I really wanted to try it and I never got my hands on it. So I finally got my hands on it this year and it smells so freaking good. Like I love the way the other one smells. Yeah, this is the Vanilla Dream one. So I got this one, which I'm so excited about. I think they both have like a little shimmer in it. Uh, yeah, this is the Warm Cinnamon Shimmering Whipped Oil Body Cream. So freaking excited about this. I almost bought like the little mini three pack of body creams that came with the original one, this one, and then the vanilla one. But I'm like, I already have the vanilla one. I don't really care about the plain one. Like, I want something that's scented and smells good. So I was like, yeah, I'm just going to get the full size of the warm cinnamon one. So I'm so excited about this. Again, so glad I got my hands on this because last year y'all sold it out. Now moving on to this free gift that I got. They gave us this free gift like when you bought three Fenty products. But I noticed that it comes with more than just Fenty products. So we're going to find out what's inside of here. So the first thing I see is this little Fenty Beauty makeup pouch. This is kind of cute. I can use this in my purse to like store stuff. So this is cute. And then you get this Kat Von D uh, foundation sample. Probably won't use this, but a free sample is a free sample. 
Then we have this Fenty Beauty free sample. This is the sample of like the little refillable lipsticks. I've actually had this before and I used it, but it's just like, it's annoying to use because once you open it, it's just like open. So it's kind of annoying and it's not like you can reapply the lipstick. So again, might use this, I might not. Oh, this is kind of useful. This is a little Kat Von D makeup puff. I'll definitely use this. I've been wanting like a smaller little powder puff. So that is nice. And then there's like a few mini products in here, which I actually really like. So let's see what we got. So first things first, why is there so much Kat Von D? This is a Kat Von D Hyper Light Liquid Lipstick in the shade Queen of Poisons. Why did they put so much Kat Von D in here? I never see anybody buy Kat Von D. This is cute. Then we also have some skincare products from Ole Henriksen. This is the Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. I could always use like a little mini skincare. And then we have the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. I don't have a vitamin C serum, so I'm excited to try this out because I've been wanting to try vitamin C in like my skincare regimen. So we'll see how these work. I'm very excited because I love like little mini stuff that I can travel with. And speaking of mini, we have a mini freaking Fenty lip gloss. This is what I'm most excited for. Again, love mini stuff and I love the Fenty glosses. So this is so cute. What shade is this? This is in the shade Pink Dragonfly. Why was it so hard to open? Oh. Okay, let's see how this looks. Uh, oh wow. Okay, well this actually looks so cute. Yeah, this is cute. I'm gonna have to see if they sell the full size of this. I've never heard of this shade before. So yeah, that is everything that I got from Sephora. If I order more stuff online, obviously I'll show you guys. But like I said, I really have no plans for today. I just want to finish my laundry get my room clean, get my stuff together so I can head back to my apartment and wash this hair because my head is so itchy, it's not even funny. And I'm really like sweating it out so bad. So I haven't put heat on it and it's just looking crazy and nasty. So it is time to wash this hair. I'm gonna do like a whole reset tonight, like skincare, body, hair. It's gonna be so nice. So I hope I don't get home too late. It all depends on what I end up doing this afternoon so yeah we'll see what i end up doing this afternoon i have no idea but you know i will tell you guys along if i do